This lady is filling pastries with cardboard, and this is disrespectful to her customers. She certainly doesn't think about the trouble she could cause them. And one of the customers who had found out, begs a woman to unmask that saleswoman and show everyone what that lady is doing to the people who buy her pastries. Perhaps irreversible damage. The woman explains that it's the same lady who's in that video. It's the lady who's standing behind her. She has a pastry shop in that square, and the woman had found out something about her. That she sells pasties filled with cardboard instead of meat. It's something that makes everyone indignant, it's absurd. And the woman has that video to prove it to everyone. That lady should be arrested, because that can't happen. Then the woman will appear as a client, and unmask that lady for everyone. She asks everyone to follow her video and pay attention to what will happen. After all the explanation in the video, the woman approaches that pastry seller, ready to get into character as a customer. She greets the vendor, saying that she was passing by and saw the pastries, so she wanted to eat them, and that they smell great. The lady says that her pastry is the best in the region. And the woman asks what they're filled with. The woman replies that it's meat, and it's very good quality meat. The woman asks if she always sells in that area, and the lady says yes, she's been selling there for a long time. Then the woman asks how much it costs, and the lady replies that it costs $5. And the woman decides to buy one. Then the lady hurries to serve her. Saying that the woman will love it, because her pastry is very tasty, and everyone compliments the taste. The woman changes the subject, commenting that her friend referred her to that pastry seller. The woman doesn't doubt it, saying that everyone loves her pastries. The woman asks if she only makes them with meat filling, and the lady says yes. The woman thinks the price is a bit expensive and asks if she can make three pastias for $10. However, the saleswoman explains that it's the local price and everyone sells them for that amount. And the woman continues to insist that she make the price. With insistence, the saleswoman ends up agreeing to do it that way for her, saying that she will pack the pastries for her to take away. She goes on to say that the woman will become a fan of her pastries, because they're great. The woman asks if she's sure they're the best quality, and the saleswoman says yes, confident that the woman will like them very much. The woman then asks her if she has been selling there for a long time. The woman replies that she has been selling there for three years. She comments that she used to sell in another place, where she sold for two and a half years, the woman asks how many pastias she makes a day. She replies that she sells at least 100 a day, which surprises the woman. She explains that she fries pastias in the morning and takes them to sell, then she gets more pastias from home and fries them again to sell. The woman comments that her pastias are great, of excellent quality. Because of this, she has many customers, even rich people who come to buy her pastias. Even teenagers, when they leave school, are eager to eat her pastel. The woman even comments that her friend who referred her to her really likes her pastries. And the saleswoman repeats that the meat is of excellent quality. The woman says that her friend has very high purchasing power, and that she leaves her house just to buy her pastel. The woman says that her pastry is really good, that the woman will love it, she's sure that once she's tried it she'll want more. According to her, her product is quality, because everything she makes is quality, all the ingredients. Everything is done in a very clean and organized kitchen, and she prepares everything herself to sell. That's why the pastel is a bit expensive. But you think the price is still good, because in other places the price is much higher. And the woman agrees with her. She says she'll try it, and if she likes it, she'll be a regular customer. And the saleswoman is confident that the woman will like it. The woman comments that she saw a school in the area, and asks if you also sell pastries to the students. She replies that she does, and that many pupils are eager to eat the pastel. Because children love pastel, every child is like that. 
The woman also asks if she is a mother. She replies that she has two children. The woman also asks if she has any other income apart from pastel. The saleswoman replies that she doesn't, that she only raises her children with the profit she makes from the pastries. The woman is amazed and congratulates her on taking care of everything and raising her children so honestly. She says she's very honest, and her children love her pastries. The woman can even imagine her feeding the children. Even more so with a meat filling, knowing that children love meat fillings. The saleswoman even comments on how well seasoned and well filled her pastries are, which is why people love them. She is sure that the woman will love her pastries too, as will other people. The woman also pays, saying that she's leaving. And again the saleswoman repeats that she's sure the woman will come back. She says goodbye to the woman, who leaves, walking away from the saleswoman. When she's completely away from the saleswoman, she starts telling the viewers that she bought the pastries from that lady. And that she's going to try everything the lady does with the pastry live, completely unmasking her. The first pastry the woman bites into has no cardboard filling, only meat. But she doesn't give up and takes another pastry, having bought three. When she takes her first bite, she notices the cardboard inside. Even though she already knew the truth, she was still in complete disbelief at the situation before her eyes. She thinks it's all absurd and wonders how anyone could have the nerve to sell that, cheating their own customers. The woman is outraged and decides to go after the vendor immediately, because this situation is absurd. What makes her even more indignant is that the saleswoman sells those pastries to children, and on top of that she says she's a mother. She must not even have stopped to think about what she could do to those children. That cardboard could even get stuck in someone's throat, causing them to choke, and you've never considered these situations. Then she says she'll sort it out immediately, because things can't go on like this. This needs to be reported. The woman can't believe that a person who handles food would have the nerve to do something like that. So she is convinced that she must resolve this now. When she approaches the woman, she calls out to her, completely flustered, saying that she bought her pastry with cardboard in the filling. The saleswoman plays dumb, wanting to accuse the woman of having put cardboard inside her pastry. But the woman says that it was filmed and they saw at the time that she bit into the pastry and there was cardboard inside. However, the woman continues to play dumb, saying that she doesn't know what the woman is talking about. The woman calls her shameless, questioning whether she really is a mother. The saleswoman replies that she is a mother. Then the woman asks her how she can sell those pastries to children. Has she ever thought that someone would do that to her children? But the saleswoman continues to say that it was the woman who put the cardboard in the pastry. But the woman has proof that she didn't put anything in it, and that the pastry came from the lady. The saleswoman says she doesn't know what she's talking about. The woman tries to reason with her, saying that this situation can make people sick, cause various health problems. She is indignant to think that a human being is capable of doing something like that. However, the saleswoman continues to say that she doesn't know what she's talking about. But what she didn't know was that the woman had videos of herself putting cardboard on the pastries before frying them. So she shows the video to the saleswoman, asking her if she recognizes that person. Only then does the saleswoman start to get nervous about the situation, ordering them to stop filming immediately. The woman continues to show the video of the saleswoman putting cardboard on the pastry, the lady continues to order them to stop filming. But the woman refuses to stop, saying that she must show everything she has seen. She wants them to show what that saleswoman is capable of. She makes it clear that she will report this to the authorities, that nothing will remain as it is. The saleswoman is already desperate, knowing that she will lose her sales. The woman says that she is acting in bad faith towards people. She says she needs these sales to feed her children. And the woman wonders what will become of her children who are buying a pastry from her, and are getting sick from eating cardboard. Wondering if the saleswoman thinks all this is fair. This only makes the saleswoman even more desperate, 
as she continues to deny the information and orders them to stop filming. However, the woman orders them to continue filming, because everyone must recognize that saleswoman who is acting in bad faith, the woman makes it clear that everything will be filmed, and she will call the authorities on that saleswoman, because she will not go unpunished. The saleswoman keeps begging the woman to stop, because she'll disrupt her sales, 